clear now let us discuss the third concept which are challenges are common sense so the confusion is like this let us say when a horse pulls a cart okay now the horse is giving one action on the cart and in return the cart is pulling the horse back which is giving one reaction on the horse now how the motion of the cart can be justified if the horse pulls the cart and if a cart also pulls the horse back then how the motion is being possible you know that the cart is moving right then how the motion of that cart can be explained now in your generation you may say that uh, cart uh, horse so this thing you haven't seen kind of thing but still the idea the concept uh, is uh, true you can think in terms of one uh, bus let us say or a train let us say this one engine engine pulls the entire body of the train right entire body of the train now the thing is uh, the engine pulls it but at the same time this body also is pulling the engine back right then how the motion is being possible so we will be discussing in form of the horse cart only and you can apply that concept to any vehicle whichever is moving because the engine part is like the horse pulling part only so the doubt is if the horse is pulling the cart and if the cart is pulling the horse back and action and reaction are equal and opposite if those are equal they should cancel each other and how the motion is being possible that's the doubt okay now see while uh, discussing the newton's third law of motion that is action reaction we have very much clarified that action and reaction can never act on the same body and they can never neutralize each other because of that fact only see here horse gives certain action on the cart let us call that uh, the horse is attached to the cart by a string which is being pulled in that uh, string whatever is the tension horse gives one tension on the cart and cart gives the same tension on the horse so actually action reaction thing is very fine as far as the principle is concerned but that is not a, at all a hindrance for the motion of the cart see the cart is experiencing one force only the action is if you are calling this action the horse is pulled back right not the cart if the cart only is pulled from this side and cart only is pushed from this side then it should be at rest but that is not happening please try to understand the pull is on the cart but from this side force so which is equal and opposite that is on the horse okay now your question should be oh yes because only one force is there on the cart the cart should move but the horse is also pulled back so how horse is moving horse gave one action and the reaction is experienced by the horse because what force the horse is giving must be greater than this tension then only it should move right if a horse is applying a force some force f let us say then f minus t must be equal to mass of the horse mh i am writing let us say mh is the mass of the horse and mc is the mass of the car right? so mh times the acceleration if this system is moving with acceleration a so f as long as the force applied by the horse is greater than the tension then only the motion is possible if f is equal to tension it may happen that if it is so heavy that the horse is trying its best but it's not able to move that also is possible and that will be possible when f becomes equal to t or f is less than t okay and yes if f is less than t it will not move but only when f is greater than t it can move with certain acceleration and because of that the uh, uh, body the horse body is losing energy right you have to feed it uh, some energy in form of a food it is taking and uh, it is getting tired that's why whoever is doing work the energy is being exhausted from that body and uh, that body gets tired okay so the simple explanation is cart cart can move because cart experiences the pull but the pulling of the horse by the cart is experienced by the horse so there is only one force on the cart okay now we have not studied friction but when we will study friction there there is one frictional force also in opposite direction and if we what happens actually if you want to see a little bit more details horse pushes the ground back 
whenever the horse is moving it pushes the ground back right? and because of that ground gives one uh, reaction okay ground gives one uh, reaction and this reaction can be resolved into two components if this is at an angle theta r cos theta and r sin theta and this horizontal component r cos theta is responsible for the motion of the horse that is the force f i say this force what the horse applies is the horizontal component r cos theta so as long as this r cos theta component is greater than the tension the horse can move and the cart also is moving very clear we will be doing it uh, taking some uh, mass of uh, this particular thing acceleration of this and all these things uh, in detail when we do numericals okay now the concept is absolutely clear